Hello, and welcome to this video. I'm Jeffrey. When you watch this, you'll be fine with everything, and all the good will come into your life. Accept and welcome it. Enjoy the video and leave your thoughts in the comments section below. The prize of an experience is an emotion. And once you start feeling unlimited, once you start feeling abundant, once you start feeling worthy, now you're teaching your body chemically to understand what your mind is intellectually understood. So knowledge is for the mind and experiences for the body and people begin to embody the truth of that philosophy. Now, if they can repeat it over and over again, It'll become innate in them, it'll become natural, second nature, it'll become easy, they'll begin to master that philosophy. So I want people to begin to understand that thoughts are very powerful, feelings drive our thoughts, and that they can begin to create a better life for themselves once they understand some of these principles. Is it possible then that the way you think and the way you feel can begin to produce effects in your outer world. Now, that isn't something that you swallow in one bite. It's a process of gaining knowledge. It's a process of practice. It's a process of experience. But once you start seeing those synchronicities, those coincidences, those opportunities that start to fall into place because you're experiencing change in your outer world, if you're doing the work, you're going to start paying attention to what you're doing inside of you that's producing the effect outside of you. And once you correlate the changes of what you're doing inside of you with the effect you produce outside of you, you're going to pay attention to what you did and you're going to do it again. And all of a sudden, you're going to start believing more that you're the creator of your life and less of the victim of your life. So if your thoughts and feelings some have, somehow have an effect on your outer world, and you're reacting to the same people at the same place at the same time in the same circumstances, then you're actually reaffirming the same reality because you're thinking equal to everything that you know. So that in order to change that, we have to begin to be greater than our environment. And a being is how we think and feel. So when people begin to practice this, they're not so quick to give their power away to the person or condition in their life because the stronger the emotion you feel from some problem or condition in your life, the more altered you feel inside of you, the more you pay attention to the cause. Well, where you place your attention is where you place your energy. So you're giving your life force, you're giving your energy away to that person or problem that you could be using to heal, mm -hmm. that you could be using to create a new future. So then teaching people then how to self-regulate and find the present moment and settle their body down from those unconscious programs or those emotions that they're conditioned to. That's the work. Mm. And so then when you start lowering the volume to those emotions and you're doing the work and mastering yourself in some way, as you begin to change your emotional state, you're not going to be thinking about that person or problem and you're going to begin to take your power back. And it literally begins to build a person's own electromagnetic field. Now, they have energy to heal. They have energy to create a new future. So I, I love, love that, that idea, idea because, because when, when people show up and they say, well, well listen, uh, I understand that I have a health condition. I understand that it's taken me 10 years of being unhappy, 10 years of living in stress, 10 years of living in fear. That's actually begin to signal or select and instruct the gene that creates the disease. Well, it may take me some time then to unlearn that process, to break that conditioning process. So there's a practical understanding now. But something amazing has happened. I mean, we've spent over 10 years doing very advanced scientific studies. We've done over 8,500 brain scans. We've measured so many uh, thousands of hearts because if you're going to create a new future, it requires a clear intention and elevated emotion. Well, let's train our people how to create really, really high level brain coherence and really, really, really self-regulating heart coherence. Why? Because if you're going to believe in that future that you're creating with all of your heart, it better be opened and activated and you better know how to do that and you better understand the science of what happens. We've measured uh, gene regulation, 7,500 different gene regulations. We know you can change your gene expression in four days. We've measured it. You're not, you're not doomed by your genes. You're your own genetic engineer that 
that um, you can lengthen your life. And uh, we've seen telomeres actually lengthen 60 days of meditation that you, you add days to your life. You're changing your genetic future that you can strengthen your immune system by thought alone. That's, that's, the, that's the evidence from the scientific perspective. And people love the evidence because they start to see that's possible. You're not going to find that in a pharmaceutical commercial. You're not going to find that out there in the world. You've got to really be hungry and look for it. So now you have evidence in testimony, and evidence is the loudest voice. So just like um, a disease spreads amongst the community, you know, and, and alters, I think that health and wellness can be as infectious as disease. And so the person in the audience who's looking at the person with stage four cancer, and, this, and the person's telling their story, and it's not glamorous, and it's not a Hollywood version, this is real. They lost everything. They went bankrupt. They lost their friends. They lost certain things in their life, but they were persistent. And that person is the example of truth, and it's undeniable. Or the person who had a stroke and is blind. The doctor said, your vision's going to get worse, and she has a transcendental moment, and she can see again. Like, that doesn't happen a year later after you've had a stroke. And then, you know, people having all of these transcendental changes that are going on, I think now that what's happening is I, I'm more surprised at this point than anybody because I never thought uh, how far this could go, right? So, uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm super happy. I'm overjoyed with, with what's taking place. And um, I think we've kind of pierced that four-minute mile. Like, you know, mm. once you break that veneer, right, in consciousness, uh, then other people can do it. And I think there's strong footprints in consciousness in the quantum field. I think there's evidence in three-dimensional reality. And it's, a, it's an important time for us to wake up to our own personal uh, uh, abilities. If you think that your thoughts have something to do with your future, just from a theoretical standpoint, that your thoughts create your destiny, and you think 60 to 70,000 thoughts in one day and 90% of those thoughts are the same thoughts as the day before, well, then your life isn't going to change very much as long as you're thinking the same way. And it, those, those same thoughts lead to the same choices. The same choices lead to the same behaviors. The same behaviors create the exact same experiences and we anticipate the same feelings or emotions from those experiences and those emotions are the payoff that drive our very same thoughts while well, our biology, our neurocircuitry, our neurochemistry, our hormones and even our gene expression will be equal to how we think, how we act and how we feel. And how we think, how we act and how we feel is called our personality. And our personality creates our personal reality, that's it. So the present personality who's listening to this show has created the present personal reality called their life. So if you can latch on to this idea, if you want to create a new life, a new personal reality, you got to change your personality, which means you better start thinking about what you've been thinking about and changing it. You begin to become conscious of your unconscious actions or habits or behaviors and modify them. And then we have to begin to look at the emotions that we live by every single day that are keep us connected to the past and decide, do these emotions belong in our future? So most people are trying to create a new personal reality as the same personality, and it doesn't work. Did our video satisfy your soul in some way? Thank you a million times over for your help. We appreciate it more than you can imagine. Don't forget to leave us a comment and hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed it. See you later.